It is no accident that precise in a republic like Venice, already in the 16th century, theatres existed, which, contrary to the Venice called theatre in Parma, were accessible to all inhabitants of the city. Thanks to the great success of opera, during the 17th century, several public theatres for the opera were built. But the architecture of all those theatres was comparable to the architecture of the court theatres. The U-shaped auditorium consisted of separate boxes. A greater part of the orchestra was used as pater or pit, in which the less endowed spectators, only standing, could watch the performance. This is the pit of the opera building La Fenice in Venice in 1837. This building burned down several times, that's why it is called Phoenix. As is common nowadays in all theatres, the pater of the Phoenix is filled with seeds. Already in 1747 in the pater of Teatro Argentina in Rome, seeds were placed. Probably the first public theatre in Europe after the Roman era was built in Paris in 1548. Note the scenery consisting of one perspective street. The proscenium arc in this picture of the theatre is from a much later date. In this Hotel de Bourgogne, a scene takes place of the play Cyrano de Bergerac, written in the 19th century by the French playwright Edmond Rostand. Se prescrit à soi-même un exil volontaire et qui, lorsque Zéphyr a soufflé sur les bois. Coquin! In the 17th century, perspective sceneries possessed more or less one vanishing point. This stage scenery is constructed on the basis of three axes. Ferdinando Bibiena introduced the so-called angle perspective or Sena per Angelo in the stage scenery.
As a result of this angle perspective, the scenery space behind the stage could stay relatively small. It should be borne in mind that most of the scenery is painted. For the spectators, the upper side of the scenery building is concealed. Therefore, reliable estimations of the scenery dimensions on stage are not possible. As a consequence, for the first time, the unity of spectator space and stage space is intersected. A modern variant of this Sena per Angelo can be seen in this scenery. Here the perspective is not attained by means of painting, but by means of practicable units. From the last renowned descendant of the Bibiena family, this perspective stage scenery has been preserved. This scenery can be seen in Drottingholm Theatre near Stockholm in Sweden. The auditorium of this court theatre is not U-shaped. The court is seated in the front rows. The wings can be moved simultaneously. This so-called chariot and pole system is discovered by the earlier mentioned Giacomo Torelli in 1641. The mechanism is placed downstage. This could be called the engine room of the theatre. Now follows a scenery change in the Drottingholm Theatre. <laughs> In all of Europe, the Bibiena family built all kinds of theatres. This Palazzo della Accademia in Mantova, in Italy, contains a theatre that is built by Antonio Bibiena in the 18th century. This theatre was mainly used for cultural events and scientific experiments. Just after its inauguration, in this theatre, 14-year-old Mozart gave a piano recital. In this special theatre, not suited for theatrical performances, a proscenium arc is hardly discernible. 